which of the following are acids, which are bases, and why? Remember that acids increase the hydrogen ion concentration. Bases decrease the hydrogen ion concentration. So let's look at this first one. This is showing the dissociation of a substance into, this should actually be, two H pluses plus SO4 two minus. Since this is dissociating to form hydrogen ions, it's increasing the concentration of hydrogen ions to the solvent it's added to. Therefore, this is an acid. And this is actually sulfuric acid. And it dissociates to form sulfate plus hydrogen ions. HNO3 dissociates to form H plus plus NO3 minus. Again, since this is dissociating to form hydrogen ions, it's increasing the, the concentration of hydrogen ions. And therefore, it's an acid. This is the strong acid, nitric acid. And it's dissociating to form hydrogen ions plus nitrate ions. OK, here we have NaOH dissociating to form Na plus plus OH minus. Recall that another way to look at bases is that they increase concentration of hydroxide ions. And then the hydroxide ions bind to hydrogen ions to form water, and that in turn decreases the hydrogen ion concentration. So you can think of a base either as just something that decreases hydrogen ion concentration or that increases hydroxide ions. Since this is increasing the concentration of OH minus, it's a base. And this is a strong base, sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide disassociates into sodium and hydroxide. Here I have the arrows going both ways because these are weaker bases, so the reaction's not so far to the right. Now let's look at what's happening with this one. It's dissociating to form, so these are weaker acids or bases. We have to figure out which one. This is dissociating to form a hydrogen ion plus this other compound. Increased hydrogen ion, I have an acid. This is a weak acid, it's acetic acid. Acetic acid dissociates to hydrogen ions and a compound called acetate. Finally, Na2CO3 plus water dissociates to form two sodium ions plus, this is bicarbonate, and hydroxide. So I can see with this increase in the hydroxide, what I have is a base. And this is sodium bicarbonate, which is a weak base. It dissociates to form sodium, bicarbonate, and hydroxide. So again, here we have an acid, sulfuric acid, another acid, nitric acid, and a base. It's a strong base, sodium hydroxide. A weak acid, acetic acid, and a weak base, sodium bicarbonate. And we define which are acids, which are bases, and why in terms of what they do to the hydrogen ion concentration. So that concludes this lecture on the properties of water, and I will see you again soon.